Paper calc. Thursday. Did we have any snow today? I'm sitting here on Wednesday night, so I don't know the answer, and you do. We are going to look today at uh, the the way that we're going to use the binomial theorem to expand uh, expressions that are a little more complex. We were looking at a plus b to the fifth and to other numbers. This time we're going to do 2x minus 5y to the fifth. All right, but it's going to follow the exact same patterns. So we'll need a calculator to help us figure out the exact coefficients but we can handle that. So as you recall when we expanded these binomials, so this is binomial expansion again and hopefully you got to do some today. If not you can still handle this. You saw yesterday how Pascal's triangle and how the patterns um, how the patterns follow, how we follow the patterns to get all the terms. So I'm going to do the same thing except this is going to I'm going to think of this whole thing as my a and this whole thing including the sign the negative as my b. So let's start. I learned that there's in a uh, blank the blank will, will have a coefficient in it by the, when we go back in the last step and grab it. Then the a term, the first term, which in this case is a 2x, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, it will appear to the maximum exponent. So that whole 2x raised to the 5. And before we saw just one term like an a or an x raised to the 5, but it doesn't, it can be a whole expression. So the whole thing appears to the maximum exponent. Then this term does not appear at all. Next, there's a coefficient. Then the 2x will reduce. It's going downward. And then this b term, the negative 5y, will appear. It'll appear to the 1. We don't have to write that 1, but I will do it to show you the pattern more clearly. Then, an, then we have a coefficient. What's going to happen to our 2x? It was 5, 4, it's now raised to the 3. The negative 5y did not appear. Now it appeared once, so it's on the rise. So now it's up to the 2. Then we will I'll make a second row here plus some coefficient and the 2x is fading out 5, 4, 3 we're down to 2 and the minus 5y is on the rise so 2 it was 0 now it's 1, 2 so we're up to 3. And following the pattern, the 2x goes down to the 1, and the negative 5y goes up to the 4. And lastly, the coefficient, and this term disappears altogether, and this term appears to the maximum in this problem. It's the fifth. All right, so now we look at Pascal's triangle, and we find the row that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms in it. And when I looked back at that, I saw that it was the row with 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. All right, now all we have to do is clean up this mess, and that's where I mentioned calculator work. So this whole term, the 2 is raised to the 5, and the x is raised to the 5, and it's all multiplied by this, which is easy. It's a 1. But 2 to the 5th is 32. It means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right, so we get 32x to the 5th. So I cleaned up this mess. Now, cleaning up this mess. All right, here I have a 5 and a 2 raised to the 4 and a minus 5 raised to the 1. So multiplying all that together, 
2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 to the 4 is 16 and 5 times minus 5 is a minus 25. Minus 25 times 15 is gets 400. All right, you have to check this out for me. And my x is raised to the fourth, and my y is raised to the one. Notice this had a negative sign because this was used as a factor one time here. All right, clean up. Need my cleanup crew. So here we have to raise 2 to the 3, which is 8, and negative 5 to the 2, which is a positive 25. So we have 25 times 2 is 50, 50 times 2, 50 times 10 is 500. That's not what I got before. Let me see. 2 to the 3rd is 8. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. 5 to the 2 is 25. Oh, that's what I forgot. 25 times 8 is 200. And 200 times 10 is 2,000. <laughs> All right, if you check that, I think I'm right now. And so we cleaned up that. Now we're over here. Clean up on all these aisles. All right, so on this one, we have a situation where negative 5 is raised to the 3, which is what, negative 125, times 10, times 2 raised to the 2, times 4. So when I did all that, I got a negative 5,000. Is that right? 5 to the 3 is 125, times 2 is 2, 50 times 10. I'm not getting that. How did I get that earlier? 2 to the 2. Oh, 2 to the 2 is 4. 5 to the 3. 20, 125 times 4 um, is... Six, maybe that's what it was. 125 times 4, 500 times 10 is 5,000. I'm good, I'm good. All right, so this x was raised to those two, so put that in. Um, x was raised to the two. Here it was raised to the 4, here it was raised to the 3, so we have it raised to the 2. And y is raised to the 3. Alright, next we'll go down to this level here. Another cleanup. 2 times negative 5 raised to the 4, so here we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 5. When I did all that earlier, I got a 6,250. X is to the 1 and Y is to the 4th. And lastly, we have a negative 5 raised to the 5, which is 625 times 5, 3, 1, it's going to be negative because we have a negative value raised to an odd exponent. Negative 3125y to the fifth. All right. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. Um, numbers. I've never done well with numbers, yet I majored in math, so go figure. Um, luckily, there aren't many numbers in our work, but tonight there were some, so you had to bear with me. All right. So looking at that. We should all agree that these are the coefficients. If not, put your two hands up and tell me about it tomorrow and I'll adjust it. What I wanted to really show you is how to use the binomial expansion when you have expressions instead of just A's and B's. So they follow the same pattern, just use a little calculator strength 
to finish it up and clean it up. All right, so we'll be cleaning up your aisles tomorrow as we do these kind of problems. So we will see you then, over and out.